What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Mud Syndicate YouTube channel. Look, real quick video. I was just got off work starting a little project on the bike and I uh, thought I'd show you. A lot of times I do stuff and don't even record it. So let me turn the camera around real quick and I'll show you what we got going. All right, here we go. Let's see right here. So I think that's like 3 16 plate of steel. See, I already got my mark. I started cutting. What I'm doing is building a gusset. So it's Christmas time. I've been spent all this money on the bike, of course. You know, we've seen the bike. Uh, I have no sponsors. You know, all this stuff comes out of my own pocket. So it's Christmas time. You know, funds is kind of low. So we all know, I believe after 2019, I'm not sure about the Outlanders, but on the Renegades, they started this arching the lower control arm ground clearance, which is all good and grand, except for these are still thin. Not sure what wall they are, but they're thin. So what I did is I'm going to build a gusset. Or I'm going to weld in a gusset. It's going to be straight across the bottom here. And it's going to have the arch built into it right here. And I'm going to weld it straight up and down vertical directly underneath it. It's going to be a full length gusset. Might do one on the other side. I'm not sure on the back side here if they bend as bad. But I do know here guys have posted... That for no reason, you know, they say it's no fault their own, no wrecks, no nothing, or whatever. They just bend, which I can see that. So, what we're doing is building gussets as we wait on parts. It's going to work perfect. So, if you watched my last video, you know that the only thing we're waiting on the bike now uh, is the trailer arms from PCF that I had to send back because the tabs on the shop mounts were a little off. Whatever. Could have fixed them myself, but, you know, we'd already said all that. Too much money. Let them guys fix it, and they can do it right. So, anyway, just now I got notification. Today is Monday afternoon or Tuesday? Tuesday afternoon. Uh, they will be here Friday. So, in the meantime and in between time, we're going to get these gusses built. I just got tracking information from ASA Power Sports also earlier that my uh, specialized ATV uh, tie rods with the Himes joints 5-8 times are on the way and I actually haven't received a date on that, just the labels being created. So whatever. So I'm going to get this cut out and uh, catch up with you in a second. Hang tight. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let me get my camera fixed up. Hang on. So I already did one little test fit. And just like that. Perfect. Do one on each side. I'll probably copy this one. I'm assuming the control arms are close enough to, I mean, it's mass produced, but should be close enough to make it work. I'll clean the edges up on this. Got my little die grinder out there, battery powder. Take the burrs off of it, clean it up, and possibly get it burned in this weekend. But uh, today's Tuesday. I probably won't burn it in until probably this weekend. We'll see how my work schedule goes, but I'll keep you all updated. All right, guys, here we go. Final product. I recorded this video once and messed it up, but got to zoom in there a little bit. She's got a little dirt on her, but uh, see if I can get you some decent light. Gussets on both sides. Let me get a light turned on there. This side was the side I did first. So I had to take a second, play with my heat range, get everything figured out, wire speed figured out. It was a new machine I was messing with, but there it is in product. A whole lot stronger than the factory ones were. Uh, I think I put two coat, two or three coats of Paint Plus Primer, the Krylon brand. And uh, that's an easy way to buy yourself some, some time if you're gonna ride hard and uh, You know, don't want to roll one up on you, man. I don't know what else to say. Only thing that's really changed, I did get rid of the wild boar 
rear rack. I went to the rough country. I want the lucky seven, but I just can't justify spending that much money right now. Lord knows I've spent too much. Specialized ATV tie rods. Got those installed. Just went through, serviced the entire bike again. Uh, checked everything, everything's good to go. So we got all I see. Mud Wheeler's going wild next weekend. And if y'all see me out there, give me a shout. Peace.